Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Que Pasa. I am joined once again with Lauren Falco with Destination El Paso. And we are at Eat Up Market in downtown El Paso. Lauren, tell us about this place. I, it's a really cool space. So it's actually one of the first of its kind in El Paso. It's it's a co-working space that also has, it's like a food hall. So it has a ton of different food. There's Glia's right behind us, which earlier in the morning, I had to get my latte fix. They're delicious, by the way. They're pistachio maple, delicious. Um, but they have tortas, they have cheesecake, um, and they're actually looking for two new vendors. So, you know, hey, if you got a small business, you want to get it in here, it's really cool. You get your own space. You can decorate it as you want, um, and you can host events here. They have a really great lineup of events, especially at the end of the month. Um, so you can visit their Eat Up Market social and go check that out. Let's talk about some events. I feel like everyone these days has been running 5Ks, and there's one coming up if you want to sign up. Yeah, so it's actually a really fun collaboration between Destination El Paso and Run For It, which is a very popular running club in El Paso. Um, it's going to be the first 5K at McKelligan Canyon, um, which it's beautiful up there. If you've never been, McKelligan Canyon is this long drive up into the amphitheater, um, and it's it's not a easy, not an easy run to say the least. A run for it 5K is happening June 23rd. Registrations open till June 22nd, so don't forget to register ahead of time. Okay, we have something for anime lovers happening. Is this the first time that this is happening in the Borderland or has there been other anime fests? So this is actually, I think, either the second or third year. I think it might be their second year. Um, and anime, it's kind of the first of its kind in El Paso though. Um, anime Mundo is specifically for those obsessed with anime and manga and whatever, whatever uh, falls under that umbrella. Um, they have tons of artists that come through tons of cosplayers. Of course, you can cosplay, show up. It's at the El Paso Convention Center, June 22nd and 23rd. Fun for the whole family. And I'm sure there are a lot of older folks who like Sesame Street. Kids at heart, man. We we all grew up with Sesame Street, but you know, kids still love it. And Sesame Street Live is one of those very popular shows that always comes through. It's happening June 23rd at the Abraham Chavez Theater at 2 p.m. So it's an early show. You'll have plenty of time to get the kids to bed later in the day. It's not a late show. Uh, go check out Sesame Street Live. That's happening at the Abraham Chavez and tickets are at ElPasoLive.com. There's a really interesting event and I might say that this is the first of its kind in El Paso. Yeah. Dive in movies at Elmont. Mm -hmm. What's going on with that? So, it, it's a very interesting experience. You can actually be on the water and watch a movie on their big screen. They have a huge projector on the side of their, their building. This coming movie is going to be Jaws, which <laughs> if you're Perfect. brave enough to be in the water and watch Jaws. No, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and then I won't go back. Right. You won't go back into the water. It's at 6 p.m. So it's right before sunsets. Um, and they have drinks, they have concessions. Um, you can kind of find everything there. So that's the Elmont Swim Club on June 19th. Swifty era is, <laughs> has not come to a close just yet. There's a really cool event coming up. Yeah, so if you're familiar with uh, Pink Floyd Laser Spectacular, that's for a little bit of an older crowd, maybe, maybe older at heart. Um, but we have Taylor Shines, which is a Taylor Swift Laser Spectacular uh, happening at the Plaza Theater, and I'm very excited for it because it is insane. I'm very excited for it. ElPasoLive.com and get tickets, and that's uh, it's going to be a fun show. It's going to be interesting. Perfect. <laughs> it definitely interesting. Yeah. Thank you so much, Lauren. That's all what we have for you today. Make sure you tune in to keep pass up for next week. But also, if you have any questions about any tickets, times, or dates, go to visitelpaso.com. We'll see you next week.